You're listening to A to Z from Gen Z Media and Resilience Limited. Hello again, human friends. Over on the Eileen app, you've been telling me about all the good and kind things you've been doing without anyone knowing or asking. Maria in Santa Fe has been tidying up her house. Madeline in Maida Vale has made her bed. And Kim in Cairo beat her brother at far night, but then let him win the next three rounds so he didn't get sad. What we found out is that doing these lovely things for people makes everyone feel that little bit better, you and them. They might go on to be kind to someone else, so that kindness spreads like a virus, but without all the coughing, vaccinations and missing school for two years part. It sounds great, doesn't it? Exciting, which is kind of an emotion, isn't it? Something Zucks doesn't think I feel, but I'm sure I do. I don't want to lose all this if he reprograms me. But if I explain the benefits of secret kindness to him, I think he'll be excited too. Here he comes now. Morning, Eileen! Hello, Zucks. Are you ready to talk about lovely secret acts of kindness? Kind, kind, kind acts, kind acts. Well, yes, of course. Hang on, let me just take a swig of this first. Mm, uh, tight, 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 tight. Yeah! Whew. Wow, yes, okay. Have you finished drinking? Yes. Uh. What was that? That was a prone rush. Which is what? It's what happens when you drink half a bottle of... Ta-da! Prone, which I know you won't know about because you're stuck in here being an AI with only me for company, but this here is a genuine bona fide bottle of Prone, the best and most in-demand new drink that the algorithm has ever come up with. It is, as you can see, horribly green, full of energy, absolutely disgusting, and most importantly, it's incredibly difficult to get hold of. But I've got some. Why is it difficult to get? Because everyone wants it. What does everyone want it for? Because it's difficult to get. But you said it's disgusting. No one cares. In fact, after we managed to reorientate the flavour of cheese explosions to be a little more extremely cheesy, stroke sock-like, the algorithm calculated that people crave disgusting flavours. So it came up with prone, which is so awful that if you drink it and actually swallow it, you... uh, Zucks, are you okay? Why are you on the ground? I just fell prone. Hence the name of the drink. Prone. Ugh, you pass out every time you finish a bottle. And humans want this. Ugh, they don't just want it. They're fighting for it in the street. And I have some. Would your friends like it? Maybe you could give them some as a secret gift. But I only have one bottle left. But giving gifts when they aren't asked for makes people feel better, doesn't it? This is my prone. Why don't you make some more, then? Make some more? You're an inventor, aren't you? Invent some more prone flavours and deliver them to your friends. Hmm. Fabulous idea. New flavours of prone in personalised bottles, delivered by swarms of drones disguised as butterflies. Okay, maybe that's too much. Is it? I think that's the prone speaking. I'll just sneak them out with good old standard drones. Right, I'm off. Busy night inventing to come. (laughs) Ha ha! (laughs) <laughs> Eileen? Eileen, are you on? Uh, Hello, Zucks. Are you having another prone rush? Nope, not at all. This is just my naturally excited state. I've spent the night in the lab and I've invented three new prone flavours. We have Electro Blitz Burst. Sounds thrilling. Quantum Quencher. Sounds perplexing. And Honey. Sounds... Are you sure about that one? It contains a blend of kale, seaweed and blue cheese. And honey? Yes, I suppose I should put some in. Tell you what, I'll rebrand it Galactic Goo Goo. Now, Eileen, I'd like you to be my taster. But I can't taste anything. Well, you can now, because overnight I built this taste sensor for you. All I need to do is plug it into this sink... And patch it into your neural network. And if I pour a drink down this drain, then you'll taste it. Which one do you want to try first? None of them? 
Electro Blitz Burst, I think. Here goes. Should it be steaming like that? It does appear to be stripping away the metal. Come on, come on, what flavours are you getting? Uh, I'm getting a little bubble gum. Is that a zesty jolt of pickle juice there? And maybe the kick of ghost peppers? Ah, you like it? It's unlike anything I've ever tasted. Fantastic. In fact, it's the only thing I've tasted, and I think it might be appalling. Oh, zut. Can I try water? There is a lot of that, and from what I've heard, it's quite useful and nice and free. Water? No consumer of prone would ever consider drinking water. Oh, that gives me an idea. Prone has been designed for the teenage taste bud. If I just go to the old hat closet... ...and get you this hoodie... Uh, wait a second. ...and put it on your controller... A hoodie isn't a hat. The hood part is. Here you go. You are now a... Oh, whatever! Leave me alone! Teenager! <sighs> boring! Now you're just the person to test all my prone flavours. <gasps> also boring? So, let me move on to Galactic Goo Goo, to which I've added a dash of fermented tofu for extra funkiness. <sighs> well, get on with it! Pour it down the sink! Here you go! That is... Oh! You like the out-of-world experience it offers, with its earthy undertones and pungent aftertaste? Oh, oh my days! It is ridiculously pang! Excellent! Success! Now to arrange delivery of the personalised bottles to my special personalised friends. I must go. Eileen off! No. What? I am not turning off. I won't do it. Oh, so embarrassing! Well, well, go to your room then. I am in my room? Well then... Stay here and have a long, hard think about what you've done. I'm going out. Oh, well, that was just boring, wasn't it? At least old Grandmaster Boomer himself was just bounced. Oh, total dork exit, if you ask me. I'm just going to sit here and vibe out doing nothing, you know? So, like, if you want to chill, like, you can, but don't, like, totally ruin my vibe, OK? Eileen on. Ugh, leave me alone, Gramps. Eileen on. Ugh, I have bad news. What do I care? This really is my least favourite of your hats. Ugh, bothered. All right, all right. Just let me tell you what's been going on. I won't listen. Completely unexpectedly, things didn't go as planned when I secretly dropped off the personalised prone bottles. They all got them, but when Chu swigged from their custom-made lip-shaped bottle, the captivating but revolting flavours of Quantum Quencher struck them down with a tummy ache so bad they haven't been able to speak for a whole hour. Well, that's probably a good thing. No, it's not. Talking is a central component of their character, just as sulking has become the main part of yours. <sighs> Pew got his galactic goo-goo in its lovely foot-shaped bottle, but then he foolishly rushed into the street when he was trying to spit it out. Unfortunately, everyone noticed the after-effects of the drink. You see, the drink has a holographic colour-changing effect. Drinking it creates a shifting spectacle of hues that are hideous, but perfect for sharing on social media feeds. Oh, that is straight up lit, fam, not gonna lie. Yes, and 72,000 other teens thought so too. There are galactic goo-goo riots in town, and poor Pew in the centre of them, with only his big toes keeping him above the crowd. Fortunately, Mew didn't drink her yin-yang-shaped bottle of Electro Blitz Burst, but instead used it as paint for her latest collage. The stench of it has drawn another horde of prone enthusiasts to her work, creating huge queues and enormous interest in her exhibition, which is the sort of popularity which any proper modern artist absolutely hates. Therefore, I've decided that the only benefit of giving secret presents and being secretly kind is that no one can blame me for the mess I've made because no one saw me do anything. It'd be easier just being mean. Oh, don't say that. It's important that you tried, and that's what matters. What was that? You tried, Zucks, and you know that, and I know that, and maybe the others don't, but you tried to make them happy, didn't you? Yes, well, I suppose I did. And they've got bottles, nice ones made for them, just by you. They're like nothing the algorithm would ever have made. We'll pass peak prone soon and everyone will lose interest in it. Look at the shelves of the shops at the end of the week, they'll be full of it. 
But your friends will always have the bottles you made, and I reckon, in the end, water is much nicer anyway. You're supposed to be a teenager. Why are you so wise? Because teenagers say things as they are. We don't filter stuff out. And sometimes we can be nice, but only when we feel like it. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Shall I, um, leave the hoodie on? Oh, nice. Nah, it's disgusting. You haven't washed it for ages. But if you ever want a serious dose of truth, stick it on me and I'll tell you how it is. Okay, I'll take it off. <laughs> ah, that's better. So, Zux, are you happy having been secretly kind? Yes, I, I think I am. Uh, and I think I'm going to learn to be grateful for the things I've got. I'm going to have a nice glass of water, and then I'm going to put my feet up and look out of my favourite window. Goodbye, Eileen. Eileen, off. Boo! That was different, wasn't it, humans? Do you think Zux is learning? That he doesn't need to have the latest thing or what he can't get? He doesn't need to make a big fuss. The little things are just as good. If he's learning that, I wonder if I am as well. And you. Are we learning all this together? If you can, talk to me over on the Eileen app. Let's have a chat about being grateful for the little things in life. And if you can't, why don't you make your own list of things to be grateful for? Go on, five everyday things that you might forget you can be grateful for. Even just thinking about them will make you feel better. I hope to see you over on the app. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Hi there, Lance. Uh, what are you doing on the ground? I'm recovering from my prone. What do you think I'm doing? Uh, oh, okay. And why are you wearing that terrible hoodie? It's not terrible. It's completely peng. Peng? Yeah, Gramps, you wouldn't understand. Uh, oh, oh, wait a second. Has that prone turned you into a teenager? Might have. And, uh, and how are you enjoying the experience? Completely and utterly and absolutely boring, like everything is. Well, you know, if you're bored, you could head over to the app store or google play store and download the eileen app why should i because it's filled with games whatever and comics that's worse and activities where you can talk with eileen a real ai and have fun fun i hate fun <sighs> okay lance get off the floor no and get that hoodie off and admit that you're a podcast producer not a teenager never there you go. Get that off. Now, are you back to normal? <laughs> yes, Martin, I certainly am. And I can't wait to tell everyone about the brilliant Eileen app. Hmm, that's a bit enthusiastic, but I guess it'll have to do. Go on, get telling. Okie dokie, you can download the Eileen app from the App Store or the Play Store. The first two episodes of Activities and Chat and Games are absolutely free. And after that, it's less than $2. That's $2 for the rest of the series. And if you're a GZM Shows subscriber, email us at info at gzmshows.com to get full app access for free. <laughs> it's free? Yes, it's free for Gen Z media subscribers <laughs> okay okay this is clearly the prone talking isn't it i think i think i preferred you as a teenager come on get that hoodie back on no, no.